Hello everyone, today we are at Loch Ness. So how are you all? Hope you are all happy and healthy and well out there. That is Loch Ness. So keep your eye out. Nessie, goodly. Ooh, pop, pop, any minute, any minute. Because she knows I'm here. I sent her a message. She replied saying, "All right, I'll, I'll maybe, I'll maybe say hello." Um, so if you see her, then you know, just, just shout out, "She's behind you," and then I'll know. Um, so yeah, we're here for just a wee family holiday. So I'm not going to film every minute of it because it's a holiday. But we do have a lovely boat ride later on on the loch. So we'll we'll film the boat ride, and you guys can all come out on the loch with us. Billion's telling me that she wants to go, so we're going to start walking. Look at this just beautiful path by the side of the loch here. Simply beautiful. Now, believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever been here. Uh, never been here before, which I know, I know is awful. Uh, but I'm here now, so it doesn't matter. Um, Kirsten has been here before. She has no recollection of it because she was, she was wee. Um, so we're counting this as her first time as well. Look at that! Just look at that. We're right at the the south end. Um, we're staying in a place called Saint Augustine's, which is uh, wee apartments and things. You can, you can change. Yeah, you can change. You can um, stay in. It's a um, converted abbey and, and fort and things, so it's a beautiful, beautiful space. So peaceful, isn't it? So peaceful. There's Kirsten taking pictures. She's being all arty. I can't do that sort of thing. Not arty. I would like to point out that we've been down this area right beside the loch for about um, 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 at the most. When we first got down here, it was chucking it down. Chucking it down with rain. We hid underneath the trees, and now look at it. 10, 15 minutes later. Stunning. We've arrived just missing, just missing these sort of bits so that the boats can go into the loch and you know they've all been lowered down but I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're going to get to see them open the bridge so that these boats can get in there. However this one here, this one here, I feel he's seen better days. We're also waiting for the last of these boats to be pulled into this pre-bridge area. Can you imagine living here and just constantly having, well not the bus, but just that view. Isn't that just incredible? Okay, traffic has been stopped. So hopefully, it's been a little while I have to say, it's been about 15 minutes as they've got all the boats secured here because there's about four boats in there and this should all open up I wonder what it's going to do, it's going to raise look, there's the man, he's controlling it okay, so that's that gate opened there was a wee gate there that's opened there what's going to happen with the bridge? because I can't see a split does it go up? Must know, must find out, must know. Oh look, there we go, it swings. That's clever. Look at that, there's the, the bit there. And it swings open. If I can look round here, you can see that the road has now stopped. 
the road has stopped and if you drive in there you're getting a wet car then if you want to give your car a clean and here they are coming out at the other side look at that and that's the that's the bridge that's the bridge there so it's swung all the way out and then you can go on the Loch Ness with your, with your boat and then this this is what we're going on we're going to have a cruise on that that's cool this is what we're doing on I'm guessing the big one I'm guessing the big one it's not quite open to get yet you have to be here 15 minutes before we booked this oh no they have opened there we go we booked this uh, before we came up but you can there's a there's a booth there you can go and buy tickets when you're here if you haven't booked in advance as long as it's not too busy so this is us uh, inside we're, we're still docked but look how nice and comfy it is and over there there's a there's a bar and you can get the hot chocolates and coffees and biscuits and things while you're on because we're on here for a bit of an hour and we're just looking at this and up there that must be sonar so we can search for Nessie and there's Wi-Fi and can we just appreciate the code for the Wi-Fi let's find Nessie <laughs>
cruise was lovely, it was beautiful. Um, that was yesterday, we're, we're about to check out, we have to be out by 10 in the morning. So you can imagine with a, with a one year old trying to time everything so she can have a nap when we start driving, it's difficult. But I just wanted to very, very briefly show you where we're staying. Uh, St. Saint Augustine's, which is a converted abbey. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful space. If we've got time, which is rapidly running out, I will try to get in there to show you a little bit of space, but I don't think I'm going to have time to go in because I have to hand the keys in and we're still loading up the car. Preparation and timing, not my thing. You go in there, and we are staying in one of these apartments here, but there is cottages and things over there as well. And you go in here and there's a pool room and there's a swimming pool and there's apartments in there as well. It's, it's actually a really, really, really beautiful place to stay. And hopefully, hopefully at some point we'd like to be back. We did two nights, so we arrived, did a night, did, did a full day, and then leaving today. And in hindsight, an extra day would have been nice, but... But... <laughs> I'm just taking our, our rubbish to, and, and recycling to where you have to take it, but I want to point something out to you that I've just noticed. Would you have a look at that? Can you see that? The mist and the fog over the hills and the highland there. Look at that. Is that not spectacular? How can you not fall in love with a place like this? I technically have five minutes before I have to hand in the keys, so we are going to run round the abbey very quickly, just so you can see the kind of space. When you're in there, it kind of feels like the forecourt, you know the grassy forecourt square area in the Harry Potter films, um, you know, with the eat slugs, Malfoy, that bit, that, that sort of grassy area, it kind of feels like that. It's not where it was filmed, but it feels like it. This is the old abbey. I'm going to have to go quite quickly, so please forgive me if it feels like we are running round. I mean, look at this. <laughs> kind of feels like a school as well. I think it was a school actually at one point. Look at this. You see what I mean about it feeling like sort of the halls of Hogwarts, yeah? You see painted on the walls, the Chamber of Secrets has been opened all you Harry Potter fans out there and look at that and that beautiful isn't that just beautiful I've not got time to show you a lot of it unfortunately and we've really not had a chance to explore a lot of it either but it is beautiful it really is I can show you I think briefly briefly in here look at this look at the pool and belly are driven here. Isn't this just incredible? So here we are in the Gryffindor um, common room. Look at that. Is it not incredible? So if you're ever thinking of staying here, this is the kind of areas you get to hang out. It's beautiful. Only one other thing to do, show you a bit of the grounds and you can see where the lock is. All the apartments in the area are separated into different entrances as well. Now we obviously went in to, that was our block here, but we couldn't get to these buildings here. Which I think you go in this side of the abbey to get to some of these. And some of these bits are apartments as well. Some of the old parts of the abbey have been converted into apartments as well. Clock tower overlooking. I mean, look at the har coming off the loch. It's just incredible. And I think... My wife and my child is down this way. Because actually, today is our three year wedding anniversary. Who would have thought, eh? Three years. Although we've actually been together for 13 and a half years. Kirsten says she, she doesn't just get points for three years, she gets points for 13 and a half years. But you know, you kind of stop celebrating the anniversary of when you started going out. You know what I mean? We used to celebrate that anniversary 
of when we started to go out. And now we celebrate the anniversary of, oh, blinded by the light, uh, the anniversary of getting married. But look, here is Loch Ness. On the back of the estate, the grounds of the abbey here. And we turn left. And you're right here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. We'll have to say, it's been an incredible stay here. I know it's been a very sort of stoppy starty brief look at the area, doing the boat ride and everything. But hopefully it's given you a lovely little peek into... I mean, we're right at the bottom of Loch Ness and it's, it's enormous. You know me, I enjoy facts. I enjoy learning about stuff and that is an incredible body of water. It's deeper than the North Sea. There has been less people exploring the bottom of that loch than have been on the moon. There are, the sonar picks up large objects that they don't know what they are and they know they're living because they're moving, but they don't know what they are. They have ideas, but they don't know what they are. And it's just, it's just beautiful. I mean, look, look at that. Is that not? one of the most beautiful sights you've ever seen in your entire life. And they were saying, you cannot actually see. It's a straight line. The loch is completely straight. And, well, relatively straight. And you can't see the end of it because it's so big, you can't see it for the curvature of the earth. Isn't that just incredible? Someone's going out on their, on their wee boat, on their wee speedboat. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our wee brief visit to Loch Ness. You guys said you wanted to travel outside of Edinburgh. Here we are. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please remember, leave a like, leave a comment. If you've been here, please let me know. Let me know if you've explored any other areas, because we're right down in the bottom. It's a big place. Um, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. But. Until next time, bye humans.